I reckon I'll be in the final ten. I could easily be the next Theo Walcott or Thierry Henry or someone like that. I do feel that I've got what it takes to go to Italy. I'd love to have that opportunity. I am football's next star. That's I'm what they're looking for. The next stage of the competition involves two all-important matches. The 20 players who impressed the Italian coaches on the day will make it through to the next round. The 20 who don't will have to go home. We're going to have a long match during one hour because during the selection they play only 20 minutes, 25 minutes, uh, and sometimes it's very difficult uh, to understand in a very short time uh, the, the ability of these players. This is the biggest day of their life. This is a life changer for them. And they don't want to obviously let themselves down at the last minute. But they've also got to play. They can't you know, play with fear because they won't, they won't play at their best level. Come on, Chamberlain! The boys' families have turned up in force to cheer them on. And Tommy, keep the pressure on. Well done, well done. I think it means a lot to my dad for me to be here because it's given him something back for all the driving hours he's like, put in. He's playing with a load of guys he's never met before today. It isn't easy for any of them. When it comes down to it in football, you haven't really got any friends. This is you on your own today. You can't afford to think, oh, I like him, he's my mate. No, I'm sorry, this is dog eat dog today. I personally think that I deserve to be here. Hisham Abdella is one of the strikers hoping to persuade the Inter coaches he deserves a seat on the plane to Italy. To impress the Inter Milan coaches, I'll show lightning pace, I'll show that I'm good on the ball, I'll be able to use my brain, have shots on goal, and what the Inter Milan coaches are looking for, look out for me. It's Hisham. On the opposing team, another striker hopes he'll be the one the coaches pick. Football's my passion, it's something I love to do, so I won't like to be told that you're not good enough or sorry you're not made it through. Manchester striker Jamie is first to stake his claim. <laughs> but Joy is about to turn to despair. The goal scorer makes a strong challenge on the keeper and pays the price. Good lad, good lad. Let me bend it back. Sidelined by injury, Jamie hopes he's done enough to impress the coaches. In both matches, players battle to show they're the best choice in their position. I reckon I'm destined for good things. I, I, I see myself. I see. I got so much potential. With the right training, I could be the world's best player. There's a good reason why 17-year-old Ben Greenhouge has been missed by professional clubs. I was playing Saturday football just for a local church in not a good standard at all. And it was just a sort of comment from one of the blokes that he said, none of us here are going to make it professional. And that's when I sort of thought, why am I here? Ben is a Christian and started playing football seriously less than two years ago. I think God obviously gives everyone a sort of talent. And I think he obviously thought, give Ben a footballing talent, see if he can take it and maybe also use it in a Christian way. The first defender to grab the coach's attention is six foot two Jordan Fincher. His cousin plays in the Premier League as well, yeah, so he has good size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jordan's cousin is former Spurs and Hull City defender Anthony Gardner. He'll look at some points and think, maybe I should have, you know, done this, I shouldn't have passed back at a certain time and various things like that. He's still got a, a lot to learn, but I think he's, he, you know, he's done quite well, Mattel. Only four Scottish players have made it through to the final 40, and Nathan Taylor is finding the standard tough. When I've played football, I've never really been knocked back for anything. So, no, I'm not just saying that to be cocky, but if I was to get there, it would be, it would be pretty amazing. How do you think Nathan's done? I think that he started the match very nervous because uh, there's a lot of good players, mm. and I think that he understand that the level is high. Another Scottish player, Rhys McGillian, has been asked to play out of position by the Italian coaches. They put him into defence. So I know, he plays left midfield because I saw the Palo a minute ago and he was saying obviously he was a left midfielder. He's comfortable with the ball. This is the first yeah. time I've seen him yeah. and he looks a natural centre half. Yeah, him. yeah, yeah. Exactly. There are nine Irish players in the final 40, 
including youth international Craig Walsh and striker Connor Smith from County West Mead. It's a dream to play football. Sure. I, I do it for free, but sure, to get paid for it, that's great as well. Doing what you love and getting paid for it, so couldn't ask for more. Corey Davidson raises his granddad's hopes with a goal. Well done. Well done. My heart is beating a bit faster now. I better not let my doctor see me. <laughs> The matches are over, and the final 40 in football's next star are about to become the final 20. I think I've done enough to get through in this competition, to be honest. So I'm just hoping that this injury is not going to get in the way of it. Every one of those boys out there today, they're trying to make their dream come true, and that's to become a professional footballer. I've got a feeling there's one or two of those that Paolo and, and Marco are looking at thinking, yeah, we like them.